So if you do not already know, the Stanford Prison Experiment was an experiment carried out at Stanford where they picked out 24 different participants and then randomly divided them into two groups. One of the groups became prison guards and the other group became prison inmates which the prison guards were supposed to keep track of. And this was carried out because in regular prisons in the US and other countries the prison inmates are not always handled with care and in many cases they can actually be assaulted by the guard and they were trying to figure out if this was because the prison guards were actually bad people or if a prison environment make the guards act in that manner and that actually seemed to be the case the prison guards who in no way were different from the inmates became very aggressive against the inmates and even began to hit them and assault them both psychologically and physically so much so that the experiment actually had to be stopped after only six days when it was actually supposed to be going on for two weeks and from this we can actually see that regular people can in fact become evil there were no difference between the inmates and the guards but still the guards became very violent and very what many would call evil while the inmates became depressed and got all sorts of psychological problems and this was not the result of them as people but instead of the prison environment and this tells us how much of our own personalities are actually the results of our environment and that we can actually change when the environment changes because these people were all regular people, regular Stanford students when they came into the study then they went into the study and they became harassers, they became psychologically depressed and got all sorts of problems and became bullies and everything and then when they went out they became regular people again and that is according to science because our brains interpret our environment and figures out with the help of neural networks and similar how we should behave and what behavior makes us the most suitable for the current environment so for example the guards their brain noticed that they felt powerful when in different way harassing the inmates and they, then it, that kind of behavior spun forward and led to worse and worse behavior while the prison inmates they become, became scared and stopped standing up for themselves when their brains noticed that that was what they had to do to survive this experiment while some other began to protest because those people biologically were predestined to become dominant and when they couldn't become dominant they at least tried and began to do protests and similar and another very interesting part of the experiment was that the people who carried out the experiment who overlooked everything they actually became a part of the experiment themselves they kind of forgot that this was an experiment at all and thought of themselves more as prison keepers because they got so psychologically involved in this and this was also the case with the inmates and the guards who subconsciously and also a bit consciously really stepped into this role and thought to almost 100% that this is what life is and they are prison guards and they have and they are higher status than the prisoners and the prisoners actually many of them began to believe that they were not actually as much humans and other people and that they had committed crimes that they had never actually committed and one can actually draw many similes from what happened in this experiment to not only prisons especially back in time but also to stuff like bullying and to the Nazis because in bullying it's actually kind of the same situations kids who don't know each other all come to the same school but kids who go to school of course don't get divided into prison inmates and guards but they are still different some of them look better, some of them are stronger, some are more confident and those different factors create a hierarchy of status in many cases and this can lead to similar behavior in schools that we saw in this experiment with kids who are stronger and who are more attractive and have more friends can actually begin to exploit the children that are less attractive and less physically stronger and this can lead to similar behavior 
because the guards actually were bullying the inmates and that is exa exactly what can happen at schools. And one would think that the prison inmates in the experiment and kids who are being bullied would try to stop this from happening. However, if one tried to attack the higher status guards, they would be severely punished and the ones who did that would not. And for a protest to occur, all of them would have to take the same risk. And if one of them did not take that risk, it probably would fail and the one person who did not try to protest would be favored by the guards. They get stuck in a hierarchy which gets almost impossible to escape. Of course protests do happen, but they are extremely risky and in many cases fail because of that the hierarchy have already been so ingrained. It is not only the hierarchy that stops them, but also themselves. Because the prisoners in this experiment began to think that they had actually done something wrong and that they were had less worth than the prisoner guards. And uh, since the brain has had been adapted so quickly to this new environment and that they were bad people, they began to notice that and believe that and therefore did not want to have more freedom or similar because they did not think that they were worth it. And this is also very similar to the Nazis because also there the Jews were portrayed as less worth in books like Hitler's Mein Kampf and uh, therefore other people think thought that they had more status over them and could climb all over them, which they did. So exactly like you can't really blame the participant guards in this study for what they did. It was only a result of their environment. Can you really blame the Nazis for what they did based on that environment? And can you even blame kids who bully because also their environment and also biology and all of these factors and not them evil as people, was what created this horrible situation. And in another situation, they would have been good people. Check out the movie The Stanford Prison Experiment and form your own thoughts and share them in the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe and tell me about your own thoughts about this subject down in the comments and have a discussion about this and what we can learn.